What fun weekends! I want to go back to Amsterdam Bourbon Bar. Of course you do, Corey. They know you for they know you by name. <laughs> Where everybody knows your name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so Amsterdam great Bourbon Bar, great show. place. Uh, love the ambiance there. Um, you know, you got bourbon, you got racehorses, you got exposed brick, you got Edison bulbs, you got yeah, the downtown. leather couch, downtown Court Street, all the things I like, right next to a pokey stop. So you could sit there and just Pokemon go all you want. Uh, it's Pokemon. And then you can yeah. roll over and get a rolling oven pizza. Yeah, you can just like roll Some over. Spots to- <laughs> <laughs> just like roll all over. Yeah. Absolutely. There's all sorts of stuff, good stuff there. Yes. All right, should we go to the Amsterdam? Let's go and learn a little bit about the French 75. Mm. Mm. Well, we just got to see how this beautiful, tall glass uh, is made. What is it, the French 75? French 75, yes. It's it's very interesting. That was one of my favorites. I was going to say 72, I don't know why. So French, what what makes it French 75? Please tell me. I knew you were going to ask that, and honestly, I could not tell you where the name came from. I just know it's a very, again, complimentary cocktail that we have going on with lemon juice, sugar, some uh, Tanqueray gin. You can use whatever gin you want. Tanqueray is just the best cocktail mixing uh, liqueur that I think we have, as well as a topper of champagne. But my personal favorite is sparkling Prosecco. La Marca is by far one of the best sparkling you know, drinks I've ever had before. Rock on. Uh, you had champ- Prosecco. Mm-hmm. Prosecco. Champagne. Champagne. So if you've never had it before, you can come in and you can you can taste that it's a little bit. It's it's very specific taste, but I would say after a while you sip on it, you're like, wow, okay, that's really refreshing. I really love that, and that's really how this cocktail is too. So you know, I would have never placed Prosecco and gin together. That's an interesting oh, yeah. fit, but I love it. I think, it, like you said, everything seems fresh about it, plus with the lemon. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And that's the thing too is that with a lot of our cocktails, if it's clear liquor, sometimes we will just add a topper of La Marca just to give it that fizz and a little bit more mm. carbonation. Mm-hmm. So I say honestly, La Marca will go with anything that you have at home. You can add it to anything other than I wouldn't say bourbon, but I would uh, say anything, any clear. You can add anything to bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> or just ice. Okay. Yeah, 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 honestly, yeah. Just do it I'm, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try the the, the French seventy five. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh, it's such a fresh for some, summer drink. That's so refreshing. I can. It smells like That's a fresh. That's super fresh. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not even drinking. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so you know the the drink is really good. Let's try it out. The topper of that lemon peel really gives it that lemon essential mm. oil too. Bazinga! Mm-hmm. Oh is my it, gosh! Is it like a shock? I mean, is it kind of like a tart? It's it's tarty. Um, it's uh, it's sweet. It, I mean, it's on I mean, your lips. Words. Like here, I'm with Woodford. It's tarty. Tarty. <laughs> it's tarty and it's tarty. It's, it's, well, tarty is when you're late late for something, right? Right. But the, that I'll tell you what's not late. These amazing <laughs> uh, tastes to my taste buds. <laughs> I love that. It's almost like a, it's almost like a little bit of a lemonade carbonation. Kind it, of thing. Oh yeah, nice. it, it is. It yeah. is. It is like a lemonade carbonated. Um, because last week we did the Grand Manhattan, and this so kind mm-hmm. of like a his and a hers. Although I know tons of women who love bourbon, and tons of men who obviously Corey is a fan of that too. Oh yeah, man. Um, but yeah. You, that's a perfect kind of his and hers. So when you come mm-hmm. in to the Amsterdam Bourbon Bar, now you'll know exactly what to order. Absolutely. Yeah, this one's very fine dining based too, as well yes. as the last Grand Manhattan as well. That one just really complements any kind of, you know, I would really try that one with any kind of pasta, especially pasta that's been tossed in wine. Yeah, I think that would really complement that. That's I, that sounds like a I was thinking of like that or like a salad. You can get like a mm-hmm. with like some um, sweets. Some some really nice vinaigrette. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I was thinking seafood even. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Like a really fluffy white fish or something. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, now if you Ooh, very, we very recommend coming to the Amsterdam mm-hmm. Bourbon Bar, obviously, because nobody makes drinks like Shelby makes drinks. However, if you're going to do this at home, can you give them a tip on that lemon peel that you did? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So what I would start with, I'll get my lemon here, and I'll yes. show you the exact little cut that I made. I always start with the bottom mm-hmm. and kind of peel upwards, because if you go around that rind there, it's going to thin out a little bit. Okay. I would definitely recommend getting a curved peel there. Um, and just do it right on the top. Do it as thinly as mm-hmm. you can. And then once you get it off of the lemon there, you're gonna get a knife, be very safe though, and kind of scrape the white rind off of there so that you have those lemon essential oils kind of like bursting up. Mm-hmm. Um, you're gonna try to twist it as much as you can over top of the drink. 
to make sure that the lemon essential oils really do complement the top rim of that glass. And then you're just gonna hook it right on there and you'll be able to taste, smell, feel the essence of all of that lemon. So. Oh, I can. Well, they don't let me have knives at home. <laughs> so um, I'll have to get a grown up to do it. But Avery took the knives away from you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I just, uh, I'm not allowed to have it. But, uh, but uh, turn it sideways, it almost looks like a little, like a little smiley face. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you've got to do it just in a, in a very artsy kind of way. And this is what happens anytime you're going to do any kind of fruit like this. You're going to mm -hmm. always want to kind of circle it up and or do it downwards. If you do it this way, like what you would initially think, that's going to just thin it out and not right. make it as presentable as you would want. So. Good pro tip. I'm, I'm sure it takes practice. I'm sure you... Uh, I've uh, got a few... Uh, Ooh, oh, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so the Anson Bourbon Bar is it's been open, you know, but now it even has you guys have the great tent outside. You, of course, your indoors are open. Can you tell me your hours, where to find you guys, all the good things about the Anson Bourbon Bar? Absolutely, yeah. So, our hours we are closed on Mondays. We're open Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 4 p.m. until 10 p.m. We're open Fridays from around 4 p.m. until midnight, uh, depending on the crowd. Saturdays noon until midnight and Sundays noon to 8 p.m. Again, all depending on the crowd. Um, I would say if you guys are looking to uh, see some of our specialty cocktails, you can either call us at the bar, which is on the Google um, if you look up Anson Bourbon Bar. Yeah, we'll throw the number up there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or or we can do uh, the Instagram, which is just at Anson Bourbon Bar. Um, that features something every single day. We started doing a specialty cocktail of the week, as well as a couple really nice holiday cocktails if there's something coming up. Um, so we just did something for Keeneland a while back, the, yes. the Ainston special Oaks Lily, that kind of thing. Yeah. We've always got some things going on. We've gotten a, a Tequila Tuesday going now where we've got about three or four different uh, margaritas going. A strawberry margarita, coconut margarita, spicy, regular, peach margarita. <laughs> yeah. It's one of my favorite things to do. So after, I would, you know. After fine dining, uh, we have our... our segment in uh, the year of fantastic fair that that uh reserve woodford's doing it's uh taco months we got a whole two whole months of tacos taco trail taco oh, trail yes the taco so those margaritas trail. will be perfect for that yes i pride myself in the margaritas because i'm very oh. specific about how i like my cocktails especially okay. margaritas so i will say myself they're really really nice well, she's good. who you want to bartender yeah i mean if you want somebody that's picky yep. on, on the other side of that on the other side of that bar that's awesome yeah very, very you know, one thing before we wrap up, um, I always think it's really interesting uh, when I come here are your ice cubes. Uh, the yes. huge cube. Uh, yeah. It's it's crazy. It's, it's the biggest ice cube I've ever seen. It's, it's like something off the movie, like Frozen. Yeah. Like they grab like with that hook, they grab it out of there. Uh, oh, she's gonna show us one. But these are perfect for bourbon, right? Aren't they almost they made are. for bourbon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there a story or something about it? Oh, yes. They're uh, limestone filtered. I'm going to break one apart here and show her. She's fighting me. Up. She has a nice thing too. I'll put her on the spot. This is how I get Elsa. I get, uh, get scratches <laughs> on my hands too. Sorry, give me one second. Oh, you're good. You're good. We'll keep it going. Hey, what's, what's, what's happening? So we got we got customers coming in. They're going to get them served. Get them served. Like, yeah. Such a neat gym for Woodford County. Especially yeah. downtown Port Street, you know, you can you can start with your coffee next door. You come later in the afternoon after lunch at your rolling oven or Spark, and then come on down for your happy hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, actually, I'm gonna cut real quick. That dang card is full. I don't know. I don't know when it happened either, but we've been getting audio through the phone, so I'll just I'll just fix that. Okay, got it here. Finally. We'll we'll keep the mics. Sorry for that. Are you good? Okay. So, so uh, real quick, let me. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah. So let's just let start back up. Okay. And three, two. All right. So I've got yeah. these little uh, limestone filtered cubes. I've got them in one right here. Yeah. Um, the problem with them is, is that sometimes if you keep them in a little container for too long, they can stick together. But for a few months, you're good. They're they're really nice. They actually complement bourbon really well because Huge. they are limestone filtered. Huge. Yeah. How do you um, literally kind of visit like a mini ice pick back there? Do you have to get them apart? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I, I have a little scoop here that I just have to break them apart. Sometimes this one came apart perfectly because it's in a brand new bag. Um, so I'm going to have to switch this out today. But um, these are actually filtered by KY Straight Ice. They're based out of Louisville. Um, they're really, really interesting, really great people. We have about six or seven packs for sale here if anybody wanted to come by and just get a couple of these. Um, they are... I think frozen in a large block, 
that has all kinds of minerals in it and at the end mm. right before they separate all of them they literally chip away all the rest of those minerals so that limestone water is all that's left in there limestone water which is the key to everything yes. in Woodford county right horses that's what makes our good horses oh yeah grass grow urban. it's the yeah horses eat yes all all, all the good limestone. things all the good nice. And I didn't know you could buy them here. I didn't know that either. I'm going to do that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a six pack for about, I think, $8.99, I do believe. So yep. we can do that. And we've got them in the freezer ready. Yeah. Sweet deal. I'm going mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take some. What more do you need to know? Yeah. What more do I need to know? Let's wrap everything up with, with a nice and a perfect fine dining bow. Okay. So we talked about what it paired with. We learned how to make it. We learned about the ice cubes. We, we, got, the, we got the hours. We got the social. What else do we need to know? Um, I would say, you know what, even considering fine dining, I think that these are also cocktails that if you're aware of how to mix things, like how we talked about the orange bitters and the bourbon, as well as light liquors and maybe a touch of Prosecco, you can also do these kind of things at home, you know. I, I would recommend going out supporting businesses, that kind of thing too. Um, but it's always fun to experiment, you know. I That's yeah. how I got to be where I am today and how picky I am about everything. But I do say, you know, whenever you go out, if you have a specific taste, maybe re or ask your ask your server about that. And you know, bartenders are very, very easy to work with. So I would say, mm. go out, talk to people, explain what you want, and I'm sure somehow, some way, they will come up with something that you're very fond of. So especially everyone Great around advice. here. So very, very good you. advice. Very, very good advice. Thank you, Shelby, and thank you, Ebbs and Bourbon Bar. This has been fun. Uh, I mean. We'll be back. We'll, we'll be, say we'll be we'll back. We'll be back. Obvious. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be. But uh, your Woodford Weekends should be, a stop should be the Amphitheater Bourbon Bar. Period. It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be. No questions asked. It's got to be. No questions asked. Back to you in the studio. <laughs>